I'm a digital producer in the production team at Surrey Police. My name is Safreen Din and I'm an accredited financial investigator. I'm Reverend Dom Jones, I'm the Chair of Police Chaplaincy UK. Hi, I'm Mark and I'm a second line desktop support engineer. Hi, I'm Freya and I'm Sussex Police's social media officer. Um, my name's Mark Harding, uh, I'm a senior leader at ACRO. I'm Michael Braker, National Secretary of the Disabled Police Association. Hi, I am Sharos Alibi and I am the Resourcing and Workforce Planning Manager for Dorset Police and Devon and Cornwall Police. I'm Jenny Jones, I'm the Visor Central Point of Contact for Devon and Cornwall Police. We provide creative support to comms and the wider organisation, producing videos, photography, graphics, live streams and animations. Our core business is confiscation, money laundering investigations and civil recoveries. Uh, I am there as a confidential listening ear to all officers and staff in Hampshire and Isle of Wight Constabulary, regardless of their faith. I build and install and maintain laptops, computers, mobile phones and body-worn cameras. My team also works with our forces contact centre to manage risk coming from our social media channels, as well as answering questions and addressing concerns that come in from the public. We're a national unit and we facilitate the exchange of criminal records with other countries. The Disabled Police Association represents members of the policing family living with or caring for someone with a disability. So my responsibilities span from recruitment and selection to workforce analysis and forecasting. I'm responsible for the accurate maintenance and upkeep of over 2,750 sex offenders that are managed in Devon and Cornwall. Communication is really important in policing. So many nuances around how we communicate with the different audiences and communities that we serve. And it's really important that we have diverse, creative, well-executed products that go along with that. We work within the legislation of process of crime, so it's important to give back to the victims that have been victims of crime for various reasons. Taking the money out of crime also serves the communities that we police um, and protecting the victims as well, which is absolutely key. The role is important to policing because police officers, police staff and everyone in the police experiences different levels of trauma and stress in their day jobs. We need to ensure that their body-worn cameras and mobile phones are working efficiently so they're kept safe when dealing with issues in the community. Social media is an extremely important asset to policing and it's something Sussex Police have been using to engage, inform and protect our community since 2010. So we provide a centralised service that uh, otherwise uh, other police forces would have to provide themselves, um, so we remove that burden. We enable an inclusive and accessible workplace which allows colleagues to fulfil their true potential and ensure that the service reflects the makeup of our communities. By carefully analysing current and future demands, I can ensure that my forces are staffed to equipped to address evolving challenges, ranging from crime trends to public safety concerns. My team and I have made a significant contribution to public protection over the last 12 months. We've been responsible for the intelligence development of over 650 child sexual abuse material referrals received from the National Crime Agency and other sources. We've also worked closely with our MOSAVOs and intelligence teams to locate and arrest multiple wanted missing sex offenders who were causing a significant risk of harm to the public, who we've assisted in their location, detention and arrest and their imprisonment back in custody. 